Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy and we have got a busy video today. We have got not one, not two, not three, but four feet to recheck. We've got a wrap to remove, we've got a block to remove, and we've got a block to apply. So let's get started. Let's take a look at hoof number one. Her first trim was two weeks ago and just a preface, all of the hooves in this video, all of the rechecks are two weeks beyond that first trim. So that's what we're gonna see. This one, she had a white line defect. We ended up clearing away that loose horn and wrapping her with salicylic acid. And yes, of course, we put a block on that other claw. Now at the two week mark, you'll notice how rough this block looks. Looks about like my 10 year old son's shoes after he's worn them for a couple of weeks. And that's no good, so we gotta pop that block off. Now usually these blocks hold up really well. In fact, it's one of the reasons that I use these particular blocks is that they don't wear generally. However, she must have been putting a lot of pressure on that toe section, likely to get the weight off that other claw, and she really wore that edge and started to tear it away. So we had to remove it, and now we'll put a nice, fresh, clean one on as we get this foot trimmed up. been getting questions lately why I apply some of the block glue to the side of the hoof before I put that block on. And that's just to give it a little bit extra holding power up that outside wall, so that's why I put it on there. Now this claw, it's healing up quite nicely, but we had to put that block on because that sole is not quite thick enough. I know that for sure because this has only been a couple of weeks out. It's going to be a little soft, not thick enough yet to bear weight. And this is what it looked like when we first trimmed it. This is what we got now. We're on our way. Number two, hoof number two. If you remember back to this girl, well, she had a little black dot in her sole that we had to pare away. And what we found underneath, well, that's what we had to fix. And here we are once again, two weeks post that initial trim. And it's looking pretty good, but let's get it all cleaned up nice. You'll notice with this one how nice that block looks. It's completely held its shape. There's no real wear on it. And that's what's typical with these blocks. They almost never wear off. And that's why I like them. They're nice and soft and they stay on there a long time. Like this one has. The last one, not so much. Listening to those calves in the background at high speed is kind of comical. And getting up close with it, you can see this area is all filled in now with brand new horn. It is still a little soft once again, so we're going to leave that block on, but it's healed up beautifully. Now the next trim we're going to look at, well this wrap has been on a little too long. It's been a couple weeks now, that should have been off, but in that initial video, she actually had problems on both front feet. So we're gonna start with that right front with a little recap. Now with this one, a lot of that sole had come away. She did have a little bit of DD up above, which is what we treated with salicylic acid, put a block on that other claw. So now we're back to take a look at that. And as expected, this one should heal up quite easily. There really wasn't a lot to fix with that. It was thin, but that DD was very minor, so we were able to clean that up. And you'll see that here as we trim this away. Looks pretty good. Uh... 
And once again, there's not a lot of trimming that needed to be done here. You can see how soft that sole is, so I don't want to remove too much horn. Just wanted to make sure that DD had resolved. Now onto the foot that's still wrapped. Now originally, this one had a little bit more going on to it, so we once again had to remove the horn from that, put a block on that other claw, and then we'll come back and take a look and figure out what's underneath this wrap. Now usually wraps will only stay on a couple of days. I put them on loose so that they fall off on their own and if they don't the farmer can then take them off. In this case it was a heifer she just got missed on getting that wrap removed but no big deal here. Luckily I put it on loose so it didn't cause any any further complications for her. You can see here that lesion has healed as well. Now we just got to get this cleaned up a little bit. Now you'll notice with this one, I do remove a little bit more horn than I did with the other one. And that's just because there's some ragged edges here. So I wanna make sure that that's nice and clean, make sure that there's not something that I'm gonna miss underneath that. But in general, there's not a lot of hoof removal needed on these rechecks. You're just really cleaning up any of those loose edges. Notice that other heifer sneaking a peek with the blue face. Yeah, that blue is just used to mark them. It makes them easier to sort rather than trying to see those little bitty numbers on the ear tags. It's obvious if she's got a blue mark on her head, that's one of the ones we needed to trim. Notice how flaky that horn is underneath there. That is what dehydrated hoof horn looks like. You notice that more in hooves that are a lot drier. This one happens to be dry now because that block is elevating it. And that was a successful day of rechecks. Four for four. Next time, we just got to pop those blocks off and they'll be all done. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.